Greg Tech was invented in 2012, and in these past 10 years, Greg Tech's progression has changed a lot. Let's take a look at what the Greg Tech energy progression looks like. The most important part of Greg Tech is energy. There are 15 different tiers of energy in Greg Tech and they are all fundamentally different from each other. Each tier produces four times more energy than the last. The first tier of Greg Tech progression is the steam age. In the steam age, you produce power using steam engines, and not electricity. You generate steam using steam boilers, which heat up water using coal or lava. This is equivalent to humanity in the year 18. The steam age in Greg Tech is quite short, as it only requires a few machines before you proceed to the next tier. Beating the steam age in Greg Tech only requires a few hours of gaming, however, humanity took over a hundred years to get electricity. The steam turbine was invented in 1884. This device transforms glorious steam energy into electricity. This allows you to create more complex machinery using electronic circuits too. This is where you will begin building your gigafactory, as the machines required to beat low voltage will be a lot. If you're playing something like Greg Tech New Horizons, or supersymmetry, expect to use at least a hundred machines. You can use steam energy until tier 2, medium voltage, where most people switch to colonizing several Middle Eastern countries for oil. Oil is more energy efficient than steam, and it can be processed for several organic compounds such as plastics. Oil can also be processed several times to create diesel, and then sit in boosted diesel, and then whatever this is, using complicated chemical chains, but some people still use steam energy at this point, by using the large bronze boiler, a machine that boils tons of water into steam. It is also very prone to exploding and wiping out your entire base. You could also other alternative sources of energy, like biomass, which is achieved by killing 2 million trees. In extreme voltage, or tier 5, you unlock nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is quite dangerous but also quite fun. Most versions of Greg Tech nuclear energy differ from each other. Some are very simple, while others require a degree in physics. Nuclear energy was achieved in the 1940s in real life. It involves splitting uranium atoms to cause a chain reaction that makes things go boom very fast, which generates a lot of energy. But you know what's better than splitting an atom? Fusing two atoms together. Affordable fusion reactors have not been invented yet in real life, but in Greg Tech, it is much more simple. You get to tier 7, ludicrous voltage, and build a massive donut with high-tech blocks. Then, you generate plasma by fusing two elements together, and then you put that plasma into a plasma turbine, which generates millions of energy units per tick. And this is where the realistic part of Greg Tech ends. At tier 7, you start to see many bullshit forms of energy, like Nakwada, which has been stolen by the show Stargate SG-1. Gregorius T really liked Stargate, and for some reason, the show has kind of a cult status in the community. If you're playing Greg Tech New Horizons, you're only at the beginning, and you have another few thousand hours of gaming required to finish. The Greg Tech New Horizons developers had fun adding several dozen bullshit forms of energy that do not exist in real life. Seriously, Dream Master XXL. What the fuck is a dimensionally transcendent plasma forge? The end game of Greg Tech New Horizons is quite funny. The developers started giving funny names to machines that did even more ridiculous stuff. The Eye of Harmony, for example, generates every item in the game for the small price of letting your PC run uninterrupted for 6 days, and then, there's this thing called the box. Mm -hmm.